Hello all you wonderful people in YouTube land. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on Beaver Creek. It is late summer. Tomorrow is fall and the potatoes should be ready. In the meantime, we got a little bit of work to do. We got a little bit of work to do before the potatoes get ready. We have to get our animals taken care of. That's what I'm doing right here. Give the sheepies some water. I don't... This is kind of a muddy pen for these poor sheepies. You know, it's kind of muddy. But it is what it is. It is what we have. So, you know. These are for the bad sheepies. The good sheepies get to go in the big open pen. I think I have a bale of hay in here. Yeah. It'll feed when it takes down. Let's look here. I can look. Tell you. 80. Yep, it's full. It's full. I just plop a bale there. And the sheepies come over. And they eat off of it the whole time. I've had a little bit too much coffee. Let us get over here to the next animal pen. And see about taking care of that. Then we'll take care of the horses. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing wonderful. Hope everybody is staying safe, happy, and healthy. I really, really do. Had a little scare this week. I did. Uh, my mom got sick. She called me. She had, you know, some symptoms that sounded like the Rona, um, but it turned out it wasn't. It was a viral infection, but she did not uh, have coronavirus. So, thank goodness there. All right, how many? What do we need? What do we need for? Uh, let's just go ahead and pull out. We'll pull out like four bales. I'm running out of the baled hay. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to get rid of this round stuff. And so we're going to use it up. Eventually, I'll take what's left up to the horse farm. And then when we have this grass that grows in here, we're going to cut it, uh, hopefully, <laughs> and square bale hay and put square bales in here. That's my plan. That is my plan. Let's see if I can do this. Now, knocking the stack over. I got four out because I'm going to take a couple up to the... Oh, I have my... My fancy forks. Have the fancy forks working. There we go. What's new in the world of farm sim? I don't know. I have not paid attention. I've been so, so busy. I know there's a couple mods that have come out that look pretty cool. Uh, I know Alien Jim put out an update for his his map, No Man's Land, that fixes a couple issues that he found. I know that... Um, yeah, that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. I finally bought the Borgalt DLC have it now. I haven't used it one piece of it yet. Not one. I'm wanting to. I just don't know in what capacity I'm going to use it in. I just... It's so hard. I have, I have a lot of stuff going on, and I'm trying to slowly... I'm going to start kind of streamlining things a little better. There's a couple series... Like, when I finish the Fort Schritt Farms, which... I mean, I'm almost... Or I might just uh, I'm thinking about just being done with that series, just because I'm spending a lot of times, a lot of time in the evenings when I'm not recording on the No Man's Land server doing off-camera work. That takes a lot of time. I also take a lot of time doing the work on American Farmer because, just contrary to popular belief, I farm that 4x map. I don't use easy dev controls. I plant everything, I fertilize everything, and um, it can be pretty time consuming sometimes. It can be. So that is what's going on with me. So I may put a kibosh on Fort Trip Farms. I'm going to do American Farmer. I really like that series. It's fun for me. It's a fun creative outlet and I get to do silly commercials. So I enjoy doing it. Definitely going to play No Man's Land because I am paying for the server. Not to mention the people on that server have been excellent. 
we're going to be playing that for a while. I don't know how many years we're going to go through, but uh, everybody seems to be really enjoying it, so we're going to stay on it for a while. Of course, we have Beaver Creek here. Good old Beaver Creek, which i got to figure out. Stay on Beaver Creek at the end of the year, and we move on to something else at the end of the year. So we're getting close to the end. All right, let's give the sheepies water there. Let's run up here to... Oh, better turn our beacons on. I don't want to get busted by the OSHA people. I, fer I went ahead and fertilized the pastures. Oh, that's done. So I went ahead and did that. I need to fertilize or spray the soybean fields. Get that done at some point. But today, the plan is get my animal work done here and we're gonna have to go to bed because the ports closed and then in the morning I have three loads of stuff to take to sell three big truckloads of stuff it has to be all sold and then uh, then after that we'll see what other mischief we can get into let's go over here oh I forgot my trailer oh frustrating frustrating my trailer's down at the other farm, at the sheep farm, because I was putting hay pellets in it. I will put these bales in here. Every I just bring a couple bales up every now and then. The horse farm. Well, let's get everything done, minus the oats, and then we'll run down and grab the trailer. Give them some hay. With seasons, it's every two days. I'm noticing you have to, you know, reload your animals. It's kind of tedious in a way. I get it, but still. Did they take it all? Nope, 253 pounds left. I wish the bales got smaller. Wouldn't that be cool? They kind of got smaller. I think it'd be cool. Then again, I am weird. Weird like that. Alright. Let's detach our forks. Grab our handy dandy straw blower that works by magic because there's no hoses that attach to it. Thank you, Giants, so much for that. None. Oh, am I wrong? The cloth one is their hoses? Let's see. See, see hoses, but no, they don't attach to anything. They're just coiled up right there. See, isn't that the dumbest thing ever? This thing has to run off a of hydraulic somehow. Whatever. Details. Details, details, details. Sorry, Mr. Horse. Don't walk it. You silly horse. He walks right into the straw spray. It's gonna be all itchy and it's gonna get in his eyes. Poor guy. And that part is done. Like I said, all we have to do now is give them some water and some oats. A neighbor friend will come ride them and brush them. And I just collect the money. Head on. It has an auto stop. There's a float in there. Once it gets high, it cuts off. <laughs> At least that's what I like to think happens. Alright, I'm gonna go get the trailer. I'll be right back. And we got the trailer. That's right. Got the little Strockman. We have a nice big trailer now. I'll show it to you in the morning. Can't tell you what it is right now. I'll tell you all about it though. And uh, it's really, really handy. It works great. Because we made a bunch of money selling hay pellets. And we're going to make a whole lot more. So we got 44,000 liters of oats. I hope that lasts us through the winter. Horses, these horses actually eat quite a few oats. Got 50 bushels in there. Let's see if that's enough. And they eat a lot of oats. A lot more than I thought they would.
put their oats in. Just mixes in with the grass. Yeah, see, 13 bushels. So, eight, 37 bushels of oats? Every couple days? That's, a, I mean, that's, that's a lot of oats. <laughs> At least, uh, I think it is. Let's see. Get our green door. There we go. Come here, green door. Voila. See how good I am? Put it right there. Let's put our cover on, detach from that, and I think it is time to go home, go to bed, and in the morning, we'll do some hauling. We'll also check on the crops, because in the morning it should be the first of fall. Not back. I slept like a baby. Autumn is here! It is the first day of autumn. There's a crisp, you know, freshness in the air. All that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Alright, all that fancy stuff. We need to... I have not touched this truck in forever. Probably gonna get rid of it soon. Need to sell it, because look. Why is my frame rate so low? Right here. Let's be something in the shed over there. Just probably the combination of all the vehicles over there. It's probably what it is. Terror track still sitting here where we were making hay pellets. I've got all the stuff put away right now. And the reason being is the truck is full. My truck, I'll show you here in just a second. As we walk over there. Beautiful sunrise. Now this thing is slow, this dryer. We, we emptied it. If you remember in the last episode, there was 400 and something thousand. There's still, I mean, this thing is going to take all winter to dry up all that grass that we put in there. It is very, very slow. And there's our new trailer. Big Flegel. They come over here and look. Okay, those, those are animated. I was trying to find some blowers that were animated. The dryer. It looks like those are animated. Pretty cool. I still want to go inside that building. Wish it had it inside. Animations and all kinds of fancy stuff. Oh yay, the grass is growing. Excellent. We should be able to get another cut out of that then. Speaking of, let's take a look. Potatoes are ready. They're ready. They're ready to be harvested. So that is what we're going to be doing. In the next couple episodes, we'll be harvesting potatoes. We'll be washing them, sorting them, using all that fancy stuff that I bought forever ago that's been sitting over there all year. Definitely get that used up. Let's take a look at grass. Yep, it's growing. I hope we get another cut. I really do. This is ready to be cut. So we'll you know, for sure get a cut out of this. So push comes to shove, we can make hay out of that. Uh, I would like to make silage bales again out of that but if we have to we'll make hay right now like I said here's our trailer and our truck and then if we look in the back it's full full of hay pellets heck yeah 39.68 tons of hay pellets is what's in there so we gotta head out I'm gonna be selling some hay pellets I took the tinted windows out. This uh, this vehicle had tinted windows. I changed it because you couldn't see anything in cab. They looked cool out of cab, but when you're in cab, you couldn't see anything. Oh, took that turn a little bias. Sorry, bush. Just drive down here. I don't think the shop or the dock opens till eight, but we have to make another stop, and I'm going to show you some other stuff that we've got going on. So we should get at least one more partial cut. It may not be a full orange cut, as I call it. It may be a yellow cut, but we'll definitely get that grass. Definitely. The hay dryer holds a million liters. There's 382,000 in there right now. So we shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't need any hay for a while. That's why I don't want to leave this map. It's because I have so much stuff like already set up and working. But at the same time... It, I've been on it for a while. I've been playing this for, you know, a couple of months. 
it, for quite a while I've been on this map, so, you know, it's like anything else. Eventually you want to try out some new stuff. So if some oh, sharp turn, don't want to tip the truck. So if something catches my eye, I will definitely probably be switching. We'll see. We'll see if anything comes out in the next couple weeks. Because the map I was waiting for, No Man's Land, I'm playing in multiplayer. Now there was another map I saw that came out. I saw it on the internet called The Wild. It looks pretty interesting. But again, it'd be really similar to this playthrough. And we've had a lot of fun. Okay, so now that we're down here real quick, I'll show you what's going on. Uh, the apples are still producing, but it's hard to see. The grapes are gone. The grapes should have all ran out. They did. Okay. No, no ladies working in the orchards there. So that's good. It's it's autumn. They probably. I'm pretty sure in North America, between August and October is when they do the grape harvest. And then over here. We have onions. We have a whole trailer load full of onions. And I loaded that myself. It was not auto-loaded. I loaded that with my skid steer. We have more onions already. This thing puts out the onions. They don't sell for a whole lot, but it keeps you busy. Right. Like I said, I don't think the shop is open yet. I think it is. Let's see. I want to sell this a load of hay pellets and see how much money we make. I love mornings on farm sim. Mist in the air. Does it feel nice? I think it does. The lighting coming through the trees. It looks pretty cool. Got the good old American flag there. Is it open? Nope, it's not. You can see the... What's it, McCallits? Still up. Pylons, or... I can't remember. There's a special name for those, and I can't remember. So we're going to park this here. And through the magic farm sim... I'm going to... Where is it? Where is... There it is. We're going to put the rest of these pallets on top of there. Maybe. I don't know if it might... I don't know if the skids here is tall enough. I don't know if it gets tall enough. Let's find out. I'm going to have to go in and edit this. I don't know what ha So I updated Global Company. And for some reason, my onion greenhouses sped up again. Because they're supposed to be slower. I'm only supposed to get like a pallet... Or maybe two pallets a season. If I did my math right, but I'm getting like a pallet a day. Is it tall enough? No. Nope. nope. Not gonna make it. Oh. It's alright. We got a few minutes. We'll just go ahead and unload these. Put them here in the shed. I think I already have them. So I've been doing just unloading. Then when I get a full load, bring the truck down, pick them up. Thank you for, uh, like six pallets is ten grand. It's usually what I get, pretty sure. Get around ten grand. Making our onions, the pioneer onion seeds. Because it says pioneer seed and it's a picture of an onion. So we must be making onion bulbs. <laughs> Not actual onions you eat, just the bulbs that people plant to grow their own onions. That's what we're making. I am not good with pallet forks at all. Come over here. See, I already have two bags. And this thing, it goes way faster now. But the crazy thing is, is I, I didn't update this mod. I only updated Global Company. So I don't know why this mod... Because I went into the XML and edited these to slow them down. But now it's sped back up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
We won't. We'll just leave it, probably. Done fiddling with stuffs. They're really cool, the onion greenhouses. You can get them from the in-game mod hub. It does require global company to work. But other than that, they're pretty neat. I like them. I do like them. So what am I looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to Hoff Bergman. I really, really hope Farmer Andy gets that done soon. And then I can play Hoff Bergman. I really liked that map when it first came out. It was kind of fun. I played with Farmer Klein a little bit. I really enjoyed playing that. So I would I would like to continue to do that. Let's see what happens. Over here. Probably have to move boards. Yep. There's boards to be moved. I'll get those later. Probably have tons of pallets of these we can sell. Let's see. Oh, we're out of water. A lot of water. Well, that's not good. Can't grow saplings if we don't have water. Here's another XML edit I'm probably going to do. My, my buddy Lagweasel's working on is changing the growth length from five years to two years for trees. Five years is just too long for seasons. I'm sorry. I mean, how many people play five years on a map? Very, very rare. I, I bet you very rare. So, I guess if it needs water, let's grab our... We need to sell these anyways. So let's do that. We'll go on the back entrance here. Because the grape orchard is shut down, so let's go... I forgot all the grape pallets here and ready. And I've got the onions, and I got the hay. I got three loads I gotta sell. Oh, that makes me... I'm gonna take a picture. That's what I'm gonna do. If you're if you're watching this, you already saw the picture. I'm gonna take a picture of this load. I'm gonna take a picture of the onions. I'm gonna take a picture of the hay pellets, and I'm gonna splice it all together. This is the thumbnail. You gotta tell me that ain't cool. Way to think, Kraz. Alright, let's jump down. All right, F11, hold state off, and those, it's, look at, that's my frame rate because of all those grapes, look at that, and then if you're not looking at the grapes, 60, turn to the grapes, Bull. yeah, they're not, they're, they're very poorly optimized. Let's get a good shot for the grapes. There we go. That's a good enough shot. F11 again. Let's stay. There we go. Let's see, we're going to sneak in the back entrance. It's called early access. Yes. How much we get for these grapes? That mod was fun. It's definitely worth using. I really enjoyed playing with it. Um, but it does. It is a. It is a resource hog. The animated vineyard does chew up some resources. If you have like some big, you know, 2080 super blah blah blah, it probably doesn't affect you. I just got my little 1660. You know, just my hand, my little, my little card. Let's go in here to the loading dock. See if we can sell. See if somebody will grab these grapes. Mm. And we're selling, selling the grapes. Oh, that bin's turned over. It's not going to empty. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. What do we get? 
fourteen thousand, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars for the grapes. Not bad for some poop and water. That's all it takes to get up and running. We'll poop and water. And the pylons are down, so it is time to sell that. I'm going to drive this tractor back, park it, and when I'm done with it, we'll be selling some hay pellets. Just weighing in here at the shop, or at the port. 59,796 pounds. I guess that's what it says. And then it says we weigh 33.9 tons, though. I don't know if that's right. Either way, let's go sell these things. See how much money we make. Because we have to buy a potato harvester. Still think we're going to borrow money. Do. Although I could just lease the potato harvester. But, yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to do. All right, hay pellets, whole truckload. Here we go. Let's watch the money. It keeps on climbing. It keeps on climbing. Yeah. 39,652 dollars for hay. It's pretty good money, people. Pretty good money. Not too bad. Alright, let's... Let's go up here and get our onions real quick. I wonder if I can hook the trailer to the back of the onion trailer. Try. Can't remember if I have a trailer hitch on that. Ooh. Don't run into the barrier there, Raz. Run into it. All right. Let's short little drive up the road here. Do 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 do. do. We're speeding. Yep. Got the hammer down. Oh, bumps. Gotta be careful here. I flipped the truck a couple times right there, going over that creek bed. Let's get up in here. See, those pallets are already full. And it's ridiculous. And I was only gone long enough to sell the grapes. So I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. See, those pallets are already full. So what I'm doing is I just empty them like once a day. That way I don't feel like I'm cheating too much. It wasn't like that until I updated Global Company. So I don't know if it's messed with my output. I don't know. I don't know. Figure it out. Strap them bad boys down. And, you know, because we need to get a picture for the thumbnail. I already took a picture of the hay pellets. I did that while you weren't watching. <laughs> Stayed off. Let's see, I did the grapes that way. Hay was straight on. Let's do this way. The onion. Perfect. Excellent. It could not be better. Alright, let's go sell these onions. Then, um, I don't know, we'll go look at the potatoes. I, I don't think I'll harvest them in this episode. I'll probably start. We'll start. We'll get the potato harvester stuff up there. Go ahead and get it leased. I don't need a bigger trailer because I have this big trailer, which is kind of another reason why I bought it. One for the hay pellets and two for potatoes because we're just going to unload... We're going to use the truck and the trailer to unload potato harvester. I'm not going to do the dump to ground and I'm not doing all that stuff. If you had like multiple people, see potatoes could be fun in multiplayer, especially with all this stuff now. Like you could set up a whole production line worth of stuff. It'd be pretty fun. At least I think it would. Right. Let's 
do this. Probably about 20,000 bucks we'll get for this load of onions. Usually. Money is going up. And they're already sold. Back up. Let's see if. We... Nope. Not going to work. Too close to the edge. So that was more, that was 1700 per pallet. Wow, that's good money. Is that 34? So $27,000 for that. Not bad. All right. Let's run over here and grab our potato harvester. We'll put it on follow me. Painstakingly all that up there. So let's see. Potato technology. There it is. That's what we're going with. I just haven't found anything else um, out there that is big enough. I mean, we could cheat and go with something that's really... But I don't want to do that. I don't want to. So that's what we're going with. $26,000 to leave. It's $511,000 to buy. Wow, we're, I guess we're going to lose it. Hope we make money. Oh no! I had my delivery thing set up for um pallets. Oh well, that's what I'll do. All right, I'm gonna go grab the correct trailer. I'm gonna get the potato harvester, and we'll get all that stuff going. I'll be right back. You know what this game is really good at? Torturing yourself. It is. Fifteen miles per hour and you know I'm over here and I'm like I could have just sold this back did the shop deliveries and plopped it right over here on the potato farm but no I just have to torture myself that's alright though we are leasing this so it's going to cost us a little bit of money I hope in the long run we actually make money on potatoes we're going to find out definitely going to find out so we have potatoes to harvest. That's probably that's gonna be two episodes for sure. We're gonna harvest the potatoes in one episode, and then the next episode we'll do the sorting, the washing, the hauling. We'll do all that fun stuff. We have to harvest soybeans. That is left to do, and that's really all that is left that we have to do. Um So, I, again, I'm, I'm starting to think more and more that come winter, we'll be done here on Beaver Creek. We're going to definitely do an episode before and after episode. I'll fly around the map as it was made by Honor. I'll show you how he made the map, and I'll show everybody how it turned out for me. And we'll talk about the mods I used. Um... I'll pull those up so everybody can do that. I'll even post, in the last episode, I'll post my save game so that you can download that if you want to. And then you can load up this map just how I have it here at the end if that's something you want to play with. Definitely worth checking out. All right, yeah. So everything's set up and ready. Got the washer. We got the sorters. We've got... Probably we'll need something with a bucket. Yeah, we'll get there. I don't know what we're going to use, but we'll use something. Probably like that the old JCB telehandler or something. We'll come up with something. And we'll be good to go. Because the potatoes... Potatoes are ready. Alright, until next time, guys. Stay safe. Thank you very, very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends all about the wonderful channel that is Raznak. Take care. See ya, bye!